Oh, hello folks, it's Ken David Stewart, and I'm uh, back here with another edition of, uh us call this afternoon story time right now. Uh, I was reading starting yesterday with a couple of my, uh, well, with a couple of excerpts from my new novella, 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 whatever it is, novella, I guess, called Lake Mariposa, and uh, quite a few people were reading the written version as I released it to the public, so I hope you enjoy some of the uh, audiobook version. We shall continue. To his delight and amazement, the flower child said, that would be very cool. Can I get a smoke from you now? Absolutely, said Rick, taking a cigarette out of his pack and handing it to her. While the two new acquaintances walked to the Salisbury house, Rick felt like he was floating on air. It was hard for him to contain his excitement. He was about to have the company of a female all to himself. Rick and his new friend found an open table at the restaurant and sat down to look at the menus. Rick said, I know what I'm having already. A nip, some fries, and a coffee. That sounds cool to me, all the same as you, man. By the way, I don't even know your name, said the flower child. I don't know your name either added Rick. Well, I'm known as Arwen, man, from the Lord of the Rings. That's my street name anyway. What's yours? Uh, I'm just plain Rick Stewart. No street name. I think I heard of the Lord of the Rings, but I haven't read the book yet. What the heck is a street name anyway? On the street, nobody uses the real names. Makes it easier when the cops or child and family services start snooping around. You never know your friend's real names suddenly dawned on Rick that he'd enter a different culture than what he was used to. How long have you lived in Winnipeg, Arwen? I don't live in Winnipeg. I've been traveling around the States and Canada for the last few months. I just got into town Sunday night. I hitched a ride from Van with some guys. What's Van? asked Rick. Man, you are straight, aren't you? Van is short for Vancouver, British Columbia. Did you know the guys you rode in with? Only for one day, I met them at a crash pad and van, answered Arwen. You think it was safe to get into a car with some men you barely know, asked Rick, with some concern in his voice. I never think about my own safety, man. I don't worry about anything anymore. I just take life as it comes. A waitress came to their table as Arwen took deep drags off her cigarette, and Rick, Rick took sips from his glass of water. What can I get you folks, asked the waitress. Uh, we'd like two nips, two french fries, and two coffees, said Rick, reaching for his complimentary glass of water. The waitress told them that their food should be ready in a few minutes. How long have you been staying in Winnipeg, Arwen? Probably for a week or so. I'll leave as soon as my old man catches up with me, answered Arwen. Your old man? Are you married, asked Rick. No, we were just living together for a couple of months in Vancouver. Doesn't sound like you want to get back with him. Well, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. The problem is he hits me. That's terrible, said Rick. Yeah, but it's not all the time. Most of the time he's pretty cool with me. It's only when he's had too much to drink that he gets crazy. Are you afraid of him, asked Rick. Yeah, if he got mad enough, he might kill me, stated Arwen matter-of-factly. Well, that's my cross to bear, not yours, man. Still, I can't stand the thought of someone beating on you. Oh, come on, man. You didn't even know me 15 minutes ago, said Arwen. Still, it's kind of sweet. Thank you. You want to hear a good band tonight? A band called Next are playing at River Heights Community Club tonight. What kind of music do they play, asked Arwen? Hard rock, mostly. They play a lot of the rock you hear on FM radio. They even have a local hit record out, a cover version of Tobacco Road. You mean the same song the Nashville teens recorded a few years ago, asked Darwin? That's the one. Sounds good. If you got if you got enough bread for the two of us, count me in, answered Darwin. Great, said Rick. We got a couple hours to kill before River Heights Community Club is open. Do you want to hang out at Memorial Park for an hour or two? He had remembered what Misty had told him. Then we can catch the Crescent Bus to River Heights Community Club, said Rick. Far out, man. I hear that's where all the freaks in Winnipeg hang out. 
You're pretty cool for a guy who looks so straight, Rick. Rick laughed. Yeah. What can I say? I've only had two months to let my hair grow out. It's only about halfway over my ears. They're going to think you're a narc, Rick. Arwen choked. I think they'll give me the benefit of the doubt when they see that I'm with you. 